How to test the quality of saffron? This is the most common question we get asked whether face to face or on our website. Good afternoon from sunny Queensland. This is Matty Zar and I'm Alex Zar from saffronice.com. Hi guys. My background as a chef for most of my adult life and now as a saffron um, trader, a merchant, it allows me to come across a lot of different types of saffron. And Matty's background as a food engineer and a health advisor, it helps us together to put together a brief answer for everyone who asked the question, how to test the quality of my saffron. So here are four easy ways that you can tell the quality of your saffron. Why don't you tell us, Matty, about the shape of the saffron? Saffron has four distinct character. One of the main things about saffron is the shape of the saffron. Since saffron is the stigma from the plant Sativus crocus, which is a flower similar to iris, is from the iris family, and is the female side of the plant, so has a shape like the trumpet in the head, and it goes finer as it goes down to the bottom. So, so that's like a long, long trumpet. It is, yeah, it is. Or a yeah. long flute, basically. Yeah, exactly. Long but, but what if it's broken in pieces? Well, it doesn't matter whether the saffron is coming in the negin shape or in the in the any any other name like the negin, sargol, and whatever name is that. Saffron always has to have a head, which is very important. In in, in terms of the trade, is is one of the most important things. So so if you look hard enough, you can see that the, the flute shape at some part of your saffron, even if you got the broken pieces and there are a lot of smaller pieces, but you still be able to find at least a few of those trumpet shapes. Definitely more than a few. If you are uh, buying the high quality saffron, at least 90% of the saffron should have the head. Unless if you buy the powder, which is not advisable to buy the powder from the saffron, unless if you know your supplier as a, as a, as a trustable supplier. Sure, so you yeah. need to trust your supplier and Absolutely, know yeah beforehand that you have you know tested their quality of saffron uh, and if they provide you with powdered saffron which you cannot tell any shape in there anymore then you're you're at least you have that assurance that you dealt with them before yeah but alex i would suggest that for um, our viewer to consider uh, following our videos because we definitely will uh, make some videos about the powder specifically about the powder yeah there yeah. is a specific way to powder yeah. your saffron yeah. we'll cover that in another video definitely. but before we move on from this uh, shape question you know how to tell the quality of saffron yeah. by looking at it um uh, we have come across uh, corn silk, yeah, which has been dyed in the color of saffron. Even the beef, shirt of beef, because they're, they're extremely fine and very similar to the length of the saffron. Um, different flowers, which they are quite similar with saffron. And, and some um, untrustable people, they add some color into it. So by using the artificial color, they are kind of you know creating the artificial saffron. And if you are not familiar with the saffron, it's quite hard for you to distinct. That's why you need to watch this video all the way to through. Yeah, so the best way is to look for those trumpet shapes, uh, broken pieces of the stigma or the whole piece. Um, which brings us to the next uh, way of telling if your sure. saffron is good quality or not. Saffron has extremely distinct aroma. So it's a very flowery and it's very earthy. As I said, because saffron um, is the stigma from the flower, so carries the natural element of the pollen. So if you smell the fresh saffron, I mean the high quality saffron, regardless if it's really for the season or is that out of season, the high quality saffron always, always has to carry the distinct and beautiful aromatic aroma. So It's um, also very strong. It is relatively strong, but it's not overpowering. So that's why if you use saffron with any other herbs, usually they are overpowering the saffron. Saffron usually doesn't overpower. But in terms of uh, how to tell the quality of saffron by its aroma, uh, you should always remember that... A flower. It's like you're smelling the nice, beautiful flower. Well, let me, let me share something with you. Out of a hundred people that I opened a jar of saffron and I put it next to their nose and I ask them to smell it. Out of a hundred people, we usually get maybe about 60 or 70 different comments. Uh, so each person has their own 
way of uh, uh, translating what the aroma of saffron is. Well, Alex, I want to I wanna raise the concern. I think it's coming because the majority of the people that we are dealing with, they're from Western culture. So unfortunately, they are not really familiar with the high quality saffron. And it brings us to our mission. Our mission is teaching you guys as a Westerners or as someone that really not knowing what is saffron to learn about the saffron in order to get the best benefit out of your saffron and buying the high quality saffron. So if you're about to buy saffron and the only way you can tell whether it's good or not is by smelling it, you look for um, earthy but sweet. Earthy, well, well we, have, we have 400 different type of bicomponents in saffron which they all are um, active um, antioxidant. So three of them are the most famous one. The first one is the saffronol, which is responsible for the aroma of saffron. The second one is the crocine, which is responsible for the color of the saffron. And the third one is the picocrocine, which is the responsible for the sweet bitterness of the saffron. As you get the saffron as a fresh harvest, it is more bitter. As the age of the saffron goes further, the, the bitterness uh, goes towards sweetness. So even by tasting a saffron, so, putting it in your mouth, you can recognize it. So before it. we move away from the aroma uh, question, yeah. uh, does the aroma change if the saffron is fresh or is Absolutely, old? yeah, absolutely. As, as we pick the saffron in the harvest, in new harvest, the aroma is far stronger than the color. Color usually is far lighter, is more kind of you know, red, pinkish red. Yeah. As we approach towards drying the saffron and as the saffron aging, and this is all the condition that you, we, we kind of you know, considering that is the perfect condition for keeping it in the cool environment and all those things that we are going to cover in the future videos. So um, as the saffron getting aged, through the aging, the, the component of the crocine, which is responsible for the color, is getting stronger. And the aroma? And the aroma also getting stronger. Oh. Because they are having a tendency of shifting to each other. Mm -hmm. So if you are not exposing your saffron to the light, to any type of light, and keep it in the same container as we put in it, right. so you will always have your saffron by components almost on tack. Yeah. Which would bring us to another future video yeah. of uh, how to uh, keep your saffron. Absolutely. So, yeah, so Which we'll is get very to that. Crucial. But but before we go there, so the third way to tell whether your saffron is a, of a high quality or not is to do the color test and to see how it releases its color in a plate of water, for example. Sure. Well, as we explained to you guys, um, if you ever come across the fake saffron and the real saffron, they are behaving completely different because um, the the different kind of you know weight in relationship to the water is behaving differently. So as you put your actual saffron into the water, into the room temperature water, it always will stick in top of the water. So it will float on top yeah, of the water. Exactly. Yeah? Whereas if you add, um, let's say, um, corn silk into the water straight away, it will, it will go down. down. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the uh, beef, beef jerky, yeah, it yeah, will straight away goes down. down. So this is one of the main things for you guys to have attention. Another thing is, as you have, let's say you have 20 stigma on top of your glass of water. So you need to see the consistency of the releasing of the color. So if one of the, if, if one of the uh, saffrons, one of the stigmas or two of the stigmas releasing the color straight away and one side of the glass of the water is a little bit stronger than the other side, you need to make sure that this is not the right one because they have to have the consistency of releasing the color. So the consistency of how the stigma are releasing their color into the water, that's the point we're looking for. And if there is a mixture of something else within your saffron, or if it's not saffron at all, then you will see that the con there is no consistency. Yeah. Each one little piece will release behave, its color behave differently. differently yeah. By the way, we mentioned that saffron will float on the water. Yeah. This is until it soaks the water exactly. to itself. Once it soaks the water to itself, it becomes a little bit like a jelly feeling under your teeth. And then it will probably sink down or float yeah, in the middle yeah. somewhere. Well, um, another important point is, as, well, as long as we are here, is um, saffron required half, a, half an hour to release the bicomponents in the room temperature water. So consider that. If you have your glass of water and you add your saffron into it, you need to wait for half an hour to get the full uh, uh, release of the color. Yeah, in the room temperature.
Okay, but I have seen saffron release its color a lot faster. No, I'm talking about the full release because I, I'm interested to to kind of, you know, have a saffron release the color and the bicomponents, okay. which required half an hour. Okay, yeah. all right. By the way, we will come back to you with a full video of how to prepare saffron mm -hmm. for uh, cooking purposes as well as for medicinal purposes. But that's a future video. The fourth way of testing the quality of your saffron is a taste test. So tell us about the taste, Matty. Yeah, as uh, as I explained before, saffron, um, the, the bicomponents that are responsible for the taste of the saffron um, is the picocrosin. Picocrosin, as, um, as the name is indicating, is the combination of the bitterness and the sweet. So it's, it's extremely um, fine line. It's not like kind of, you know, it's extremely strong. So you, you wouldn't notice it unless if you are the kind of, you know, sensitive person with the sensitive palate. So yeah, these four ways are extremely important. And I'm sure if you guys uh, following our videos and our teaching, you will become a master on recognizing them. Okay, so just to summarize, the shape of the saffron, yeah. the aroma of the saffron, absolutely. color test, absolutely. and also the taste of the saffron, which absolutely. is a sweet, bitter. Sweet bitterness, yeah. yeah. All right, so, so guys, this is how you tell. Yeah, guys, it's, it's important for you guys to consider saffron as a, um, a strong um, medicinal uh, with, the, with a high amount of antioxidant. Saffron contains 400 plus biocomponents and they all are active um, active antioxidant. It's very important. Cool. Thank you very much for your time. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, right here we're going to provide you with a little uh, promotional code. So if you are interested to purchase any saffron, please use this code to get your discount. And also always remember, we have a 30 days money back guarantee. We are the only company in the world that provides a 30 days money back guarantee. And knock on wood, we haven't had one return uh, within thousands and thousands of customers. So um, we urge you to try good quality saffron and enjoy it. And guys, please don't hesitate to shoot us an email, send us a question, and we are more than happy to make the video for you guys. Thank you very much for watching us, Matty and Alex. Take See care. Cheers.